Scrub a dub dub, what's in the tub? What's going on, my scrub scribers? Today we have a team builder for the match that we have against my buddy Slayer, and it's gonna be a tough match, I can already tell. Just by the way, like I built my team, I know that it's gonna be a tough match. Just knowing Slayer is gonna be a tough match, but we're leading off with a swallow here. We call it the swell bird because it is bird and it is swell. And uh, we're going with U-turn Brave Bird, Facade, and Tailwind. Now, I decided for Tailwind because nothing on my team outspeeds a choice scarfed uh, High Dragon. And Tailwind lets my Dancy uh, that you can see up there outspeed um, with a with a Tailwind up, even if it is choice scarfed. And this thing as well will uh, outspeed after a Tailwind. Um, so we can get the U-turn action off and just get damage on that. Because a choice scarf uh high dragon is really really what i'm worried about um i know that life orb set is probably like decently common but i i really feel that like he probably knows that out to beat my entire team so that's something i have to be aware of as well as mega metagross um that thing he gets a good speed about speed boost but that's why we have arcanine and uh jellicent so like i'm kind of like okay with that um but that's really why i decided on this set um just obvious evs flame orb uh, just kind of standard thing that you run on a swallow, uh, because it works, and that's what I'm bringing this week with that. And now uh, we're bringing a really unorthodox Pokemon for this one. Oh, hold on, I didn't add one of the moves there. Uh, what is it? Double kick, overheat, wild charge, and there's one more. There's one more. Oh crap, can't remember. Okay, anyway, this is Esteban these of strike because this is slayer's favorite pokemon and this thing is hilarious um this thing i specifically uh ev'd it so the attack is base uh is hold on let me click on it is 116 because a double kick there two hit ko's a high dragon if he's not uh or yeah if he's not physically defensive it does up to 57 percent if he switches in so technically four hit ko with double kick but yeah and I'm I'm just blanking on the final move. I can't remember what it was. Um, well, let's look through. Uh, what did I put on this thing? Oh, signal beam. That's right. Yeah, and then uh, signal beam was the last move because that hits high dragon. Um, like it's just good coverage, mon. Um, and this thing really is my counter to his wall core because wild charge will one hit KO. Um, with this EV spread, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I EV it for, is it's to one hit KO, the slow king and the overheat, one hit KOs, the, uh, the Tangrowth wall core, because that's his regenerator wall core that we're looking at, and, um, I think, like, neither of them are safe on switching, but seeing that, um, both of those are possible switch-ins, so, like, if he thinks I'm, um, just going for double kicks, then I can hit that wild charge on the slow king, if he swaps in the Tangrowth, I get the overheat, and that's also why we're Sap Sipper. So that if he comes in and tries to sleep powder me, I get the attack boost, and then we're just wrecking lives all over the place. And though we decided to make this uh, hasty nature because that boost speeds and minus defense. Uh, Sap Striker's already going to be uh, losing life because of its life orb already. So I thought defense wise, it's really not going to take uh, too many physical hits anyway. And we're just going to swap out if we uh, we can't see that because we do have a wall core uh, that can uh, kind of stand up to everything on his team. Uh, so moving on to the next one, we have our beautiful, beautiful, like, endgame sweeper, pretty much. Um, that also has the Stealth Rocks, because I thought it might be um, something that uh, would be useful to have. Because I know that Slayer probably doesn't have a great matchup against this thing, except with the Mega Metagross. But I'll have to switch in, because I'm not going to just bring this thing in on a Mega Metagross. Even though I have Earth Power, I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to take a bullet punch to the face and die. So, um, I know that he probably wants to have to swap around and figure out how to get, um, in against this thing, because this thing is a tough matchup for his team. Uh, it hits everything on his team for pretty decent damage. Um, Diamond Storm hits almost everything that isn't a physical wall, and, um, Moonblast is on the opposite side, uh, and Earth Power for the Mega Metagross on swap, and if he decides that it's what he thinks is going to happen, um... With EV spread, you know, just uh, max speed to outspeed most of the things other than uh, choice, Scar Sky, uh, choice Scarfed High Dragon. And uh, we outspeed Mega Metagross if he doesn't have Bullet Punch. But uh, if he does, then 
then we don't. It doesn't matter either way because we're not taking a bullet punch. Even with this, even if it was max HP, max defense, I think it does like seventy to eighty percent. So there's no really point in putting the investment in that. Uh, we might as well make this an end game sweeper. And overall, I think um, this this Pokemon is going to be something that I need to keep in the back. I really need to probably set up a Tailwind and sweep with this thing. Um, late game, if I can. Uh, I'm trying to take as minimal amount of damage on this thing as possible. Um, but since it is my Magic Bouncer, I kind of have to bring it in at some times. So that's going to be something that I'll have to monitor throughout the match. Uh, just thinking about that. The next Pokemon we have here is Puberty the Jellicent. And uh, I named it Puberty because Slayer hasn't caught uh, puberty yet because he's still like 12 years old but uh puberty has a mustache and that's what you grow when you uh you have puberty is mustaches and facial hair so <laughs> anyways um i figure that he probably doesn't want to match this thing up against his mega metagross uh because he can't really touch me unless he packs thunder punch so i'm not really too worried about it um like matchup wise because him running Thunder Punch leaves a lot of my mons open to uh, countering him. Because I have the Zip Striker, I have the Arcanine, I have the Mammoth Swine, um, Diggers B as well. That is um, something that he probably is thinking about. Uh, he probably won't want to run the Thunder Punch. And um, a lot of people don't really know that this thing is like a, a pretty decent wall against Mega Metagross because it doesn't get Knock Off, it doesn't get Shadow Claw. I think the only thing it gets is like Pursuit, I think. I'm pretty sure. And Thunder Punch, but people who run Thunder Punch, like my and my team's so ground based that and rock based that it's not something that really would benefit him from running, uh, other than if he specifically wants to take this threat out. So that's why I put Toxic on uh, Puberty instead of Will O Wisp, uh, because I didn't I didn't really think the matchup there. This thing also I'm trying to I I saw V Sing's battle against Slayer last week, and he did an interesting thing with the Cofagrigus, and he Toxic and Hexed. And I, I was like, that's brilliant. Like, I've seen that before, but it never, like, clicked until I saw that. And I think that's going to be something that's really interesting. Because if I can get a Toxic off on either of the uh, the two of the wall cores, um, I can I can wreck shop um, just because it, it does so much damage. Then he has to switch back out uh, before he can get, um, like, Aromatherapy or Heal Bell or whatever. I can't think of any of the Pokemon on his team that get those those moves. Um, but yeah, no, this is just going to be standard stuff. Now, I, I did this EV spread specifically. I know against Demon last week, I did a physically defensive Jellicent to eat up hits, and I thought about doing that this week, um, but I didn't think it would be really necessary because, like I said, I don't think uh, Thunder Punch on a Mega Metagross is something that uh, we'll see. Um, so I ran the special variant because I feel like uh, High Dragon and Jellicent matchup might end up happening, and if I can get up Stealth Rocks to where that thing can be whittled down a bit, this Jellicent can eat one, and then with uh, the 44 investment in the special attack, can hit decently hard on with an Ice Beam, and put Slayer in a real difficult situation. Um, because, like at that point, I, I didn't put Recover on this thing, because I felt um, Scald and Ice Beam were too good, and then Toxic and Hex cover way too much. But like I said, um, yeah, like that special being just to put Slayer in a hard situation, because if he comes in on Rocks like two times and then matches up against his Jellicent and I Ice Beam, he's gone. There, and there's nothing he can do about that. And then Diancie pretty much just ends up sweeping if uh, the Mega Metagross is already down uh, because there isn't really anything that can match up against it, I think, on his team um, really, really well. That wants to take Moonblast or... I think it hit two hit KOs pretty much the rest of his team... And that's going to be something that's really, really interesting uh, that I don't think he'll be prepared for. I mean, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so moving on from that, uh, we have Dank the Mammoth Swine, and I did not put anything on this. Oh my goodness, I am super unprofessional. So we're just going to spam this in real quick. It's the standard Focus Sash, Ice Shard, and uh, Icicle Crash. Uh, so, no, not Icicle so Spear. Okay, we will just skip that. Earthquake. And then knock off for the uh, slow king and anything else that wants to switch in. And if we can knock off the uh, the item from the high dragon, that would be really really good. But uh, it's just gonna be the focus ash set because this thing almost has to like kill something uh, with its with its focus ash attack because it earthquakes and then it can ice shard. And if it doesn't uh, need the ice shard, then it outspeeds. 
and then otherwise we swap out. Um, I'd really like to keep rocks off my side of the field, um, be for just specifically to keep this thing alive, uh, because Focus Ash, um, even with this thing at 1 HP, it, it still demands respect, and it's something that you have to uh, think about. Uh, I'm just going to put the 6, I think we put the 6 in the special defense just because, like, that's how it matches up best, um, I guess. We're just going to make it adamant, not bashful. Why did I do that? Uh, we're going to make it adamant. Sorry about that. I'm super unprofessional. But uh, we named this thing Dank because Slayer likes to say the word Dank. So I just thought, you know, Mammal Swine looks Dank. So let's uh, let's name it that. And uh, I still need to change this back to Icicle Crash. Uh, icicle. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Icicle Crash. Top one. All right. And, um... You know, I think Mammal Swine is definitely going to hurt his entire team uh, really, really badly if I can get it uh, properly in. I don't think it needs the speed investment because it does have the uh, Focus Sash and Thick Fat is going to keep it uh, pretty relevant um, if it's getting hit by a fire or ice attack, which I don't think is something that he's really going to bring because it, there's nothing on his team that really wants to bring that unless he wants to bring Ice Beam, Slow King, or something odd like that. Um, that might that would catch me off guard, but like I I don't know why you'd run that considering my team. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty much Mammoth Swine, and then we just have the Arcanine here that we I stand really name these A O O O O O. Okay, keep keep that the same. Okay, uh, we name these Ace. And wow, I thought I thought I did these before, but I didn't. I just did the first couple, and then I thought the second couple were fine, but they weren't. So that's fine. Uh, we have this as the um, pretty standard impish set uh, with the rocky helmet. This thing's just going to be a thorn in his side the entire time. Now, normally on these you either run wild charge or close combat, maybe extreme speed. I decided to run uh, close combat on it because um, I see it being like something that um, a high dragon would switch in on because I flare, I can flare blitz, and it's going to do nothing to the high dragon because of the dragon resist. So I really have to kind of uh, bait Slayer out a bit to bring that thing in because I don't want to reveal it too soon because if I reveal it, he's never going to switch it in. So I have to kind of bait that and I kind of want to just wait a bit because Will-O-Wisp, Flare Blitz, Morning Sun, and Extreme Speed is the most standard set that I run. Uh, I really like that set, but I think Close Combat just matches up against his team. I think he has a Rhyferior as well. That'll hit pretty hard as well. And that's it's something that's really going to be um, difficult for his team. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is going to be pretty pretty nice. It's just going to be something that I can get off damage. And uh, if that Metagross decides to switch in, it can catch a Will-O-Wisp. And I'll, I'll take an Earthquake, Intimidate, Rocky Helmet. I mean, Earthquake doesn't make physical contact. But anything else, like Zen Headbutt or anything like that, are going to eat that up and just be a thorn in his side. So that's, that's going to be the team. Um, I think we have a pretty good chance of winning this. It's going to be... Uh, Tick and Tack, I mean, like, if you guys watched uh, Slayer and V-Sync's battle, um, like, you saw how Tick and Tack it was, like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be for the long haul. Slayer is a very, like, I wouldn't want to say, I don't want to say stally, but he's just a very, very cautious player. He takes very safe plays and stuff like that, and I think I can exploit that to a point, um, but, I mean, him making safe plays is going to keep him in the match for the long haul and expose me to making more mistakes. And that's why I built this team kind of um, almost counter countering what his strengths are because then he can't outlast me. I think um, lasting-wise, my team just matches up better. Um, I just can't, I can't let some pieces go down. Like I think if Diancy goes down, I'm in a big a big hole because it's my it's my win check to everything on his team except the Mega Metagross. And then if Mega Metagross is in, Arcanine has to be alive. Uh, so that's something that I have to think about uh, throughout the match. But uh, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, win or lose, as long as it's not anything like stupid or anything like that, I'll I'll be happy. I mean, like when it's top level battle like this, I really really want to win. But I can understand, you know, that sometimes one play can change the the game, the face of the game, and you know, with Slayer, V Sing, and all of those high level players, I I know that it's gonna be tick for tack. So I kind of accepted that, and win or lose, I think that the the Sutopolis Scrub Nines are are gonna be one of the best teams in this league, and we have every contention to go for the title. 
So that's going to be it for today, guys. If you did enjoy this team battle, or and if you think there's something that I should have changed or that you guys would have liked to see on my team, I know I'm running a crazy little zip strike over here that maybe not everybody thinks is good, but I like it, and that's well, I'm I'm the coach of the team, so that's what that's what we're doing. So, anyways, um, but yeah, no, if you guys thought anything was kind of weird or I should change something, leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll note that and throughout the season. Maybe I'll take some of your suggestions and uh. Yeah, I'll take those under advisement. So uh, thank you guys for a moment. Ah, whoo, ha, ha, whoo, ha. All right. Be professional. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, we out. Deuces.